हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल शेयर और वी विल डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स एंड लिटरेरी डिवाइसेस ऑफ रोड नॉट टेकन रिटन बाय रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट लिटरेरी डिवाइसेस यूज्ड इन द पोएम आर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस टोल्ड वाइल रीडिंग द पोएम अगेन द राइमिंग स्कीम राइमिंग स्कीम इज ए बी ए ए बी सिम्बॉलिज्म सिम्बॉलिज्म मीन्स वॉट एवर हैज़ बीन मैंशन वॉट एवर हैज़ बीन गिवन इज गिविंग द सिम्बल ऑफ समथिंग एल्स सो हेयर सिम्बॉलिज्म टू रोड्स विच रिप्रजेंट टू और मोर चॉइस इन आर लाइफ टू रोड्स टू रोड्स विच आर मैंशन देयर where the poet is standing and thinking that which road should he opt it so two road symbol two road symbolizes two or more choices in our life in his life anaphora and repeated at the beginning of line 2 3 4 when the word is repeated and repeated at the beginning of the lines to second third and fourth then alliteration wanted wear w sound is repeating what is alliteration 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 is a figure of speech where where the letter sound repeat wanted wear w sound is repeating here first for another day so first for f f sound is repeating f sound is repeating दो दैट टी एच साउंड इज रिपीटिंग हेयर वी कैन से दैट फिगर ऑफ स्पीच अलिट्रेशन इज हेयर देन रिपीटिशन रिपीटिशन वेन द वर्ड रिपीट एजेस इज रिपीटेड टू रोड डाइवर्स इन अ वोट दिस सेंटेंस इज रिपीटेड इन स्टेन जॉस वन एंड फोर एंड इवन द मेटाफर इज यूज देयर वेन ही इज कंपेरिंग रोड to the uh, choices in our life summary we have already done still read it once now we are going to discuss question answers question answers will begin where does the traveler find himself what problem does he face where does the traveler find himself he was at in the forest he he found himself at the place where two roads diverging one or we can say one road is diverging into two he is having a problem or he is in a problem as he must choose one path one road one way and is unable to decide is unable to decide which one to choose what he should opt discuss what these phrases mean to you yellow wood yellow wood means the forest which has withering leaves as in the season of autumn it represent a wonderful of aging a world full of aging people full of aging people like those who are having experience it was grassy and wanted wear it means that the path had a lot of grass on it it means that it had not been walked over by many people it had to be worn out by the steps of the people who walked on it means it has not been followed by many people okay the passing that it means that when he walked over the path that he had chosen that he had chosen leaves no step had trodden black it means that no one had walked over the leaves as they were still green still green the the path has not been traveled by stepped by people whenever we walk on a road it become a way in even in, in you have noticed during the rainy season when a lot of rain is there we used to uh, put some brakes we used to 
put something to make the road to pass from there in the same way when the grass is there leaves are there it means that is not a clear way how way leads on to way it means that as we walk on a path we come across more option and make choices further we keep on walking ahead on that way is there any difference between the two roads as the poet describes it them as the poet describes them in stanza 2 or 3 the two parts were similar in the beginning the poet felt that one of them was grassy clear this has been told in the poem in the beginning that one is grassy and what one is clear he can see as far as it bent and the growth in the forest it means the road is clear so in the same manner it is mentioned here but when he walked on it for some distance he realized that it was like the other road in the last two lines of the poem again the same thing has been mentioned now these are the questions so apart from it we can we are having more questions like was you can write and you have to find out answer i am giving you some questions like was a poet regret on his decision after ages okay second question number second why did he decided to choose the road less travel why okay why did he decided to choose the road less traveled by after that next question is uh, write down some brief points about a author next next question you can write uh, while opting while opting his decision to walk on the difficult road to walk on the difficult road whether he was happy or not next question next question is mention the literary devices used in the poem so i hope that you all will do this write down complete your work show it to me thank you